Hey guys, so I just have a really small Lush haul today that I wanted to share with you guys. I had to pop into the store um, to stock up on one of the face masks that I love there. And while I was there, I decided I was going to try a few products that I haven't tried before. So I just have a little bag here and I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, the reason I went in was to pick up one of the Cosmetic Warrior masks, um, which is one of my Holy Grail products. Um, this is my fourth one that I've gone through. And typically with these, I can get about five or six masks out of it. Um, they are fresh. You need to keep them in the fridge, and they do expire. Um, so that's why, like, you can't really get that many uses out of it because they don't actually last that long. I think they last, yeah, like two or three weeks. So um, this is what it actually looks like. And I've actually already used it, so that's why you can see my fingers have been dipped in there. But um, a lot of people I know don't like this mask because of the smell. It has a very distinctive smell. Um, what's in it is uh, garlic, tea tree oil, green grapes, honey, eggs. So I mean all that mixed together is kind of disgusting. Um, I don't actually mind the smell. I never have minded the smell. It is a little bit strong but um, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, and like this mask, like I said, it's a holy grail for me. Uh, if you've watched my videos and you know I have sensitive skin and I have acne prone skin. So to be able to find a mask that treats my acne when I have it um, and also doesn't hurt, harm my face because my face is very sensitive and if I use something um, that's too abrasive or has too much chemicals in it I'll get like hives or I'll just get a lot of redness so I have to be careful with what I put on my face but this this is my fourth tub like I said and I've never had a problem and it helps keep my skin clear um, I don't use this all the time but when I do buy one I try to use it two or three times a week until it's gone or until it expires and then I'll, I'll get it like once every couple months um, but yeah I find if I don't know if I didn't ugh, if I notice that my skin is acting up then I'll go buy this right away and then start using it every other day and I notice a big difference in my skin because the garlic um, is antiseptic so it gets rid of all the bacteria that's on your skin and then tea tree oil is very very good for acne and like drying out acne and stuff like that um, and I, I don't know what the green grapes do. I think it's, it doesn't say. Just for cleansing, I think. And then the honey soft and the eggs like are there to soften your skin. Um, another mask that I've tried is the Odafix one. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but it's um like it smells like an oatmeal cookie, and it's like banana and oatmeal and all this delicious smelling stuff. Um, and that's really good if you have dry skin and sensitive skin. And that one also was really good for me when I found my skin is getting very dry, um, but this one is the one that I will always pick up. Um, if you have problem with, problems with your acne, this is what I would recommend. Um, and then while I was there, I just wanted to try out a few things. Um, so the first thing I got is the, I should probably look at the name so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, You've been mangoed. It's a bath melt. I've never had one of their bath melts. But this is what it looks like. It says mango on it. It smells delicious not kind of like it smells like mango but also kind of has like a lemony lime lemon lime kind of smell like a very citrusy smell so i'm excited to try that um i usually only get the bubble bars because i find that the bubble bars you get your money's worth because you can break them up and use them like with comforter i think i get five uses out of it um so i usually only get those but this time i wanted to try something different so i got um the bath melt and then i got two um, bath bombs and the one I've been wanting to try for a while and it is called honey bee bath bomb and it just smells like honey um, it's super huge like mm, it smells really good I wish you could break these in half because I feel like that is ginormous and it was fairly expensive like I almost didn't get this but then it was the only one I really really wanted to try um, so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it but um, it was six dollars and forty cents and then the bath melts was five ninety five um the face mask was six ninety five and then the other um bath bomb i got was five ninety five so the other bath bomb i got because it was one of their new uh releases that they have out um and typically i don't like bath bombs or bath products that have like shimmer or glitter or things like that that are kind of going to make a mess and then i don't know how i feel about getting out of the bath and being like covered in like glitter or sparkles but the packaging was really really pretty uh, I mean the product itself was really really pretty and it smelled really good um, it's called Phoenix Rising yeah Phoenix Rising 
this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. You can see that has gold shimmer on it, and it has like this kind of purpley pink um, marble effect going on. And it smells absolutely amazing. To me, it smells just like apple cider. Like it has an apple, it said that it had an apple cinnamon scent to it, but you can smell like the spice, like an apple cider. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to do in the bath in terms of like color and glitter, but the person at the register actually told me, these are actually brand new, I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, they're really good if you have tension, now I have glitter all over me. Um, if you have tension like in your muscles, like she said she was having problems like with her shoulders um, and like her back and stuff being like really tense and so she said, oh tonight I'm going to do um, Phoenix Rising bath bomb because it's really good for releasing the tension in your body. I don't know how that's possible, but um, that's what she said, so yeah, just a little fact there. Um, and that's all my stuff from Lush. Um, for once, this is actually just a short, quick video. Um, I'm always wanting to try new stuff at Lush, so if there's anything that you love or you think I should try out, uh, leave me a com comment below. I can't talk today at all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so I just wanted to film a really quick Lush haul. I'm actually getting ready to go out in a couple minutes, so that's why my hair is kind of done up, and I'm wearing... A little more, ooh, why am I doing jazz hands? Hey guys, so I just wanted to film a really quick and small Lush haul. Hole? Lush haul. Oh hey guys, so I'm just here with a little Lush haul. Um, I ended up going to Lush the other day just to pick up a few, no, 